to know the neighbors. Anyway, it's the 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 24th of May. And because I'm doing both vlogs again, I talk about the day of May several times. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. We're off. To wait and see what the day brings us. Oh. We've had a nice couple of days. We've had a fair amount of, amount of wind, but uh, other than that, uh, it's been nice. We're off and riding again. Slow down enough so you can get the light. I fixed up my mirror, so that's working fine. Building always cause the buildings like this always cause a fair bit of wind, so there is a necessity to really sort of speak up. <laughs> Unfortunately, people on the side who are walking on the sidewalk can hear me and they wonder who I'm talking to. So <laughs> it's an unusual thing. I did a. I did some more work on Voltaire. He seems to be an odd character. I think it's pretty much as Lionel LeBron. Most of the intellectuals sort of create an environment for themselves that, in many ways, is unrealistic. So when things go wrong, they get very upset. And this is uh, Lionel LeBron's. Uh, I hate everybody statement. It's the woes of an intellectual who is superior to most. And this is why in many ways, compared to, uh, compared to the actual knowledge out there, the intellectuals are on the lowest level of knowledge. I always forget that bump is there. Anyways, we've had a good day so far. The ride is very nice. Sometimes that's all it is about having a nice ride. Other things go on in the mind, but there isn't always a conversation or a topic to talk about. So you just enjoy the ride for whatever the ride is.
Going at a very nice speed. My burnout vacation seems to be over. It usually takes a couple hours, a couple extra hours of sleep, and it seems to be all right. As I said, you see all types of drivers. Out there. That is it. There are a lot of idiots out there, and there are a lot of people out there who are dangerously stupid. And these are the people you see on the road like that. And ironically enough, a lot of politicians fall in that category of being dangerously stupid. One of the reasons why I don't turn the camera towards me is that uh, <laughs> if you saw what I looked like, because the wind is causing uh, my nose to run, there's a bit of material uh, sort of dripping down my nose. Uh, just imagine any kid outside playing in the fall or in, during the winter. And there's uh, there's materials all over the space. Let's say our materials. notifications just came in on my phone. I have to see what popped up, but I'll do that when I get to my place.
It's about 10.30, 11 o'clock in the evening, so about uh, uh, 22 hours and 30 minutes and uh, 20, almost 23 hours. <laughs> it's the 24th day of, uh, of May, and we're heading back again. My mind I talk dystrophy is acting up again, so we'll see what happens for tomorrow's ride. I got more editing done. Another vlog went up, and I noticed that at certain times, depending on, on the amount of, uh, of concentration I had to do and the level of fatigue, um, really cuts into the conversation. But again, I guess that's kind of expected. And I think these things are notes. So the conversations. Uh, are in segments and parts, they're not complete. So, they're the musings as I go along uh, and as they come along. So, Sometimes it's difficult to judge distance, particularly at night. And I'm always concerned about the speed. And even when the lights on, people don't always pay attention. So it's always a concern. Anyways, back to our favorite, to one of our favorite topics, Lionel LeBron, who's going off and doing other things, but uh, not really. He's one of these people who are they're, yes, they're intellectual, but they're always a contrarian. They're always into some form of disagreement with the with the crowd because they simply just don't go around with, along with the crowd. But what I found from Voltaire, uh, just doing the, the, the deep dive into Voltaire's work, is Voltaire was kind of a person who really didn't do his own work. He just kind of paraphrased. It. But because his work was not approved by the government, by the crown, and was published in a house in Switzerland that sort of did not require any such uh, authorizations. They simply published anyways. He became very famous because he was illegal. And he used his fame to really work his way into society. 
And that's what it was about. It's about getting position. And so he took actually contradictory views that if someone had actually sat down and done a little bit of studying would have found out that they were indeed contradictory. But because no one actually bothered to look up anything, they simply, well, he's Voltaire. It was more about sort of chuckling along and uh, at his notoriety because the, the, the people found it enticing to be with someone who was illicit rather than being with somebody who was proper. So in other words, propriety in certain cases was not always what it cracked up, was, was cracked up to be. And you, you find a large chunk of the, the, the well, it wasn't on the internet, while it wasn't on social media, it was in the sort of the social media of the day, and that was in women's salons, the uh, well-to-do uh, women uh, of aristocracy and so on and so forth had a lot of power, and they had nothing to do all day long. And so they got together for social uh, gatherings. And these gatherings, they started, well, they began to compete with one another. Who was there, who wasn't there, you know. We see this in the cartoons when the girls are fighting, and one girl doesn't invite another girl to a party just to show her who's boss, who's in control, who has the uh, best social reputation. Well, this is this is what was going on in the Victorian era, and actually before Victorian era. Who you were mattered. Your, your, your presentation. Your pretense. Who, who, and how you presented yourself to others was what mattered. The substance on the inside really didn't matter. And a, a, a slight question of Voltaire's pretense was we'll see that he was a man who was completely devoid of substance. But it didn't matter. He had fame, he had notoriety, and no one questioned him. And this is, this is sort of the nature of intellectualism. The intellectualism is that it's about your own sense of self, your own propriety, and that you are at a standard that nobody else is at. And this is a dangerous position because you can convince yourself that something is true when it really isn't. And when, some, when enough people turn around and say, oh, you're not worth it anymore, uh, a line from Yowie Vlogs, uh, my, my uh, YouTube scroll, uh, it affects them. And it affects them very negatively because they ha have their own self-worth. And as soon as they start doubting their self-worth, that's it. And this is where you hear, you hear Lionel LeBron, you know, why does he hate people? Well, because they're all, from his perspective, they're all stupid. And well, he's probably had a lot of negative experiences because he carries the attitude of an intellectual with him no matter where he goes. But that doesn't necessarily mean that all of his information is incorrect. What it means is he's simply, simply another, or along the lines of intellectuals, who are all conspiracy theorists. Intellectuals are a form of conspiracy theorists. They don't really study anything in depth. They have very strong opinions, and they need to. Ha it needs to be that everyone has to listen to them. And so this is, this is, this is how Lionel LeBron works. This is his, his reality. And it's, 
interesting to analyze it. You want to see where this guy is in, is in society. He's well placed, and so he becomes a litmus test to see what's going on in society. 